often in Europe that you will see circle dances, although most of them seem to have survived there. But there are little pockets in the rest of Europe that look strangely similar to some of the Bulgarian ones we did. Uh, and uh, another region, and uh, this is where I'm getting to, I want to teach a dance from there, so it's not Bulgarian, but I feel it connects in the sense that it was uh, an old European dance and there was a lot in common. They used old instruments like bagpipes and things like this. This is a dance from a not so well-known uh, area and culture, the island of Sardinia. 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 Which is, of course, part of Greater Italy, and it is that big island that's at the tip of the boot of Sicily. Sicily kicks Sardinia almost all the time. North of there is another island you heard about, Corsica, uh, which belongs to France, but which also kept a lot of old uh, Italian, but more than just old Italian. Everybody went through there, from the Romans to the Greeks to the... Uh, Arabs, uh, so that culture is very unique because they're remote. So I know one Sardinian dance which I learned from a group from Sardinia that came to uh, Montreal where I lived a few years ago and they taught this dance and I went, wow, this is really fun. And for a while actually though I didn't teach it so much because I didn't have good music for it, just a kind of a homemade recording with a, an accordion, but it was fun then. But later I've gone back to Europe and I found a very good recording with a full orchestra. Here we go.
privilege to be part of this wonderful bunch of people called folk dancers, who for us has been our family, really, as we're all the way we've met our best friends and spouses. This is where we relive a sense of community and values that we felt were, you know, escaping us from real life. And certainly today, boy, it's so bad out there. <laughs> it's good to have these things to keep saying and remind us uh, how, how lucky we are. And, see, and it's great way to keep in shape <laughs> and yes. to move and to keep fit and uh, dance till you drop should be your main you know, sort of aim and it's so wonderful to see people I mean I feel I'm getting older but there's older and much older and it's great that Vicky was telling me about some of her students that are in their 80s and even some of their 90s which I think is amazing and they're gonna definitely follow that dance till I drop kind of approach and it keeps them sane, and it keeps them happy. And uh, so it's important to dance and learn about cultures and remember also how important this was in our early stages. We can all flash back to the first day we discovered folk dance. And for many of us, it was like an instant hit. It's not something that was like, oh my gosh, what is this? You know, as you walk by the door of the student union building or whatever, and you go, Ooh. <laughs> And we're struck by the music and this incredible energy coming out of a circle of people joining hands. And uh, I, I think it's a wonderful thing, and, and I keep reminding myself how, how lucky we are, that each of our groups are, in fact, individual little villages, is what it is, with very much the same uh, interaction and uh, context that you would find in the old village which that itself is disappearing that's sort of maybe the saddest thing for some of us who were lucky to be there back in the 60s the villages are closing up people are leaving the village for economic reasons there's no need I mean there's no work and uh, it's amazing to arrive in <coughs> totally ghost towns which in fact are being now bought by uh, Americans and Germans and British and Japanese investors who you can go on the internet and buy a house in any Bulgarian village tonight if you want. They'll take MasterCard, Visa, anything. And, How much are this? Well, they're getting up, but if you were lucky to get there, you know, a few years ago, you could find a, a village house for ten thousand dollars. You know, and now it's there's not much under fifty thousand. But still, it's an amazing, if you plan to <laughs> retire in the Balkans, it may be good. But still, it's not so, you know, have good news. But what can I say? We, Nonetheless, our villages uh, are, they're also dying out a bit. It's not uh, the huge population we had, but at least the energy is still there, I feel. And uh, it's, it, it's up to us to, to maintain that, and hopefully other people can join in. But, uh, I feel lucky that I came in at that time and that place. It's intensive timing, but uh, it's never too late. I mean, to join this kind of activity, but uh, really, really, it's uh, how can I say? And I'm one of the few that managed to actually uh, be able to make a, 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 my living from this. I would have never. If someone had told me you're going to become a teacher of folk dance and you're going to be able to live from that, I mean, I still find it hard to believe. But uh, it is. It has happen. But again, I think it's a combination of being at the right place at the right time. And I don't think I could have done it today if I was coming into this whole world right now. But it did get me to travel all over the world and teaching in Japan and Australia and Europe and Taiwan and whatnot. And gosh, I mean, it's kind of weird when you think about it. But the, try, I try, still try, I have a hard time explaining that to a Bulgarian, that a French Canadian would teach a Bulgarian dance to Taiwan. <laughs> Again, it's always to me uh, being uh, the pleasure is not just from the dancing itself, but it's the combination of the, the people that are there and the, uh, the great energy that we, we have from this event. So, yeah.
and everything that was trendy in places like Vienna and Rome and Paris became the thing. People were beginning to dress in Western clothing, and there were all kinds of new little dancing steps and, and it closer to the music, and Albania was no exception. And this is a dance that's from that era, a little bit of the more educated aristocratic women in bigger towns like Tirana and so on would do these dances, but they were certainly part of the tradition. And then on your own, wave the scarf, the joint, you step and point the left, and then you close and repeat the same, da da joint, ya da 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 Son, this is the land of the Balkan blues. <laughs> My son, uh, does your head hurt, or is it your stomach? And he says, No, it's neither. It's my heart. Oh. And she says, Okay, what happened? Well, he said, Last night I was with my true love, and she announced that she was leaving me for someone else. End of the song. What a great line. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like and they love, it's full of songs like this. The Russians have those, so you kind of, you know, raise your glass and cry, you know. Kind of.